here at Zero to Awesome, we like to keep our projects car related, but sometimes you have to do non car related projects to get to the car related projects. So that's what we're going to do today. My father in law has a vehicle he's looking to get rid of that should make an interesting project, but first we have to help him move. And my lovely wife has decided that I should build my father in law a housewarming present. So that's what we're going to do today. He is in need of an entertainment center, so we're going to build one for him. He has an entertainment center that no one really likes. It's this old particle board thing that's basically falling apart. So we're going to build him a new one to go with the new house that he's moving into. And we need to do this quickly because today is Tuesday and he's moving on Friday. So we are going to keep it simple and easy and model it after something I've built before. So this is a little outdoor coffee table that I made out of leftover steel from the camper I made. And uh, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna take this, blow it up, make it a little bit bigger, no casters, it'll have legs. And it'll just be, you know, like this little table you can set your uh, receiver and all your other TV sort of stuff on. And he will have a new entertainment center to go with his new house. And this is what we have to get us started today. These are eight foot one by threes of pine from your favorite local orange or blue store. I don't have any pallet wood to use for this. So we're going to use these. We're going to go long ways. The entertainment center is going to be seven feet long. Uh, I think we're going to use about five of these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them up a little bit, get a little bit of variation throughout there, uh, and then probably go through and distress them too. Then we are also going to stain them. We're going to do a satin polyurethane over the top. Got a brush for that some screws to screw the wood frame we're gonna make into the steel, which I don't have yet. Uh, we've got some clear Rust-Oleum to go over the steel so it doesn't rust, and then some felt pads to put on the bottom so we don't scratch anyone's floor. So our goal today is get the two shelves made, then we're gonna stain and polyurethane them, let that dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll get the steel and start building our frame and then set our wood into it. So let's get to work. Now we've got all of our boards cut and our frame laid out. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us, every time we got cuts in the boards, to give them something to attach to. We'll have the frame sitting below the boards. It's upside down right now. Uh, but first we're gonna go through, we're gonna distress the boards a little bit so they don't look so nice. And then we'll go through and put everything together. We've got wood glue, brad nails, hold everything in place while it dries. And that will be one shelf. Then we'll make another one. And after that is staining, polyurethane, tomorrow, metal. Get your finest staining clothes because no matter how hard I try, every time I stain something, stain gets everywhere. Today we will be using Early American by Marathane. I don't know. Never used it before, but it looked pretty good on the sample in the store, so we'll see how it turns out. So next we've got some 
soap and water in a cup, 600 grit wet or dry sandpaper. We're gonna go and wet sand this and then do our second coat of polyurethane. That should keep everything really smooth and looking good. Then we're gonna let this dry overnight and tomorrow morning we're gonna hit the steel store and get the steel for the structure of this, this thing that you hear. Oh, good morning there. It looks like a beautiful day to get some steel. Now, if you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I recommend discount steel and aluminum for three reasons. Number one, they have the word discount in their name, so you know you're getting a good deal, right? Number two, they're open on Saturdays, which is actually kind of a big deal for most metal shops. And number three, they're close to my house. Can't beat that. That number used to be a lot higher. All right, back from the metal store, we got four pieces of two by two square tube, 12 feet long each. So what we're gonna start doing now is we're gonna take our wood shelf things we made the other day, start framing it out, and then weld our frame together once we got it all measured out and cut. So we got our frame cut out. Next, we're going to weld. I gotta fill in a little bit here. It looks like the saw wasn't exactly 45 degrees, but we can do that. Top saw welded up. It's a little messy because there were some gaps in the corners there, but we, we filled them in, it should grind down nicely. Next up, legs. This thing's gonna be 20 inches tall, so we need 18 inch legs. And luckily, our helper arrived. Voila, we have a table, or at least most of one. Uh, next up, we're gonna measure down where we want our shelf. We're gonna do seven inches off the floor, and then that gives us nine inches of shelf space. Uh, put some bars in there, and then we will be getting really close to done. So that is most of the welding. The rest of the welds actually came out pretty well. Uh, there is one more thing we have to do though, and that is put some caps on the end of these feet, because right now that is just gonna scratch the crap out of your floor.
Up next, my favorite part, grinding. We'll be using two different wheels here. One, regular grinding wheel to get all the big stuff off. Two, sanding disc to make everything nice and smooth. You guys can watch this in time lapse. Unfortunately, I can't live it in time lapse, but we'll get there. All the grinding is done. I also went over the entire thing with the sanding disc to kind of wear it down and give it a, I don't know, worn, used look or whatever. There is one final thing we need to add here though. And that is a couple of these guys. If you've seen the Zero to Awesome Christmas special that's out on our channel, you'll know why these are necessary. Uh, if you haven't, maybe we'll put a link up there right now. So you should go watch that. Unless you're a vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian, do not go watch that. It, it does not end well for vegetarians. For our final trick, now we need to take those wooden panels over there and put them in here. And we are so close to being done. So all the screws are in, shells are secure. Now we get to do my least favorite part, take it all back apart. And then we're gonna go over the steel with the clear enamel we bought earlier. Cause if we don't, it will rust. And I mean, maybe that'd be cool, but it'd rust on his living room floor, which would be bad. So we're gonna go ahead and clear it. It'll also shine this all up a little bit. It'll look pretty good. paint to dry, this seems like a good time to remind you to like and subscribe, or if you don't like it, just go somewhere else, I guess. So we did one coat on the bottom, and a second here, once this is dry, we're going to flip it over, do two coats on the top, and the reason for that is the top's going to get touched a lot more. The bottom, one coat should be sufficient to keep it from rusting, and then we'll be able to put everything back together. And there you have, in about a day and a half, a simple, easy entertainment center. Or at least we're calling it that, because it's, it's really a shelf, but it'll be used as an entertainment center. So, Mike, hope you like it, and I'm sure we'll have lots of fun moving it in this weekend, because it's, it's not the lightest thing in the world. Uh, we will also, this weekend, be picking up our next project about the time we drop this off, and that will be interesting, to say the least. So, stay tuned, and we'll see you later. Discount In a quarter name. mile, turn left. Got to discount that. Go, 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 go. Just driving out of the neighborhood. Driving, driving, driving. Wait until we get to a street. We get to a street. We'll do some talking. Don't want to talk in the neighborhood. It's kind of boring. We want to talk on the street where we can get in a wreck. <laughs>